Hello everybody, I'm Chad. Welcome to the Mighty Scale Models channel. This is going to be a little introduction to myself as well as an unboxing and a look at the 135th scale Tamiya Jeep Willys 4x4 quarter ton truck. So I'm an avid modeler. I've been modeling for around 25 years. I enjoy sci-fi models, armor, ground models, really just everything with models. I like to light them up. Use the airbrush, paint, do all the weathering stuff. And we'll be going through all of that stuff on every build that we do here on the channel. So if you're stopping by for the first time here, please subscribe, like, and click that little notification bell because there's going to be a lot of great model action coming your way. For all of you that have joined me from my Dorky and 40 channel, which focuses on RC and FPV, Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully we can keep you entertained and get you building a model or two. So here is the kit, the Jeep Willys MB, Willis MB. You hear it pronounced a few different ways. And before th there was anything really known as a Jeep, this was known as a quarter ton four by four truck back in World War II. It was basically used as a ground reconnaissance vehicle. They would mount machine guns to it, deliver different packages. It really fit the whole terrain and environment of most of Europe. And these things ran and ran and ran. They were easy to work on and maintain. Now this Tamiya kit is a really good kit. It is kind of basic. There's not much parts to it. There's a ton of aftermarket parts available for this kit though. We're not gonna be using any of these in this build. We're just gonna build it straight out of the box. Of course, we're gonna be painting it and weathering it and everything like that. And I have future plans to maybe add this to a diorama, which would be pretty neat because there is so much going on in the diorama world now as far as the realistic scale details that you can purchase. So the whole kit itself, not a whole lot to it here. We'll go ahead and open the box up. Of course, we have our instruction manual. We have a separate tub here which is the actual body of the jeep itself everything comes molded in this olive drab color next sprue that we take a look at here just has uh parts of the vehicle just some basic things going on all the detail looks pretty nice for tamia i've seen some builds and reviews of this kit so i pretty much know what we are in for here the whole kit is going to be all of drab for the most part but then of course we can detail some things out and we're definitely going to do that because it's a tamia kit it's going to go together really good and we can get it filled up and make it look nicer on this sprue here we've got our wheels we've got some guns thing like that we've got pieces of the figures and stuff if i decide to go ahead and do the figure model so the wheels don't look too bad. There's a little bit of a seam line on there. A few things to take care of, not that big of a deal. And then of course here is the windows for the windscreen. We're gonna have to leave those in the plastic. And then we have a small sheet of decals in there, which these are Tamiya decals. They're gonna be thick. I've seen that they're a little challenging to put on. So we're gonna make sure that we can get those laid down pretty well for that. So I just have some paints that I picked out from my supply area that we'll be using to create. Most of these here will be used to create different uh, washes and filters that we'll put on there to kind of simulate some dust and mud and everything like that. We've got XF64, 52, and 78. And of course we've got uh, just regular flat white and black here. And this NATO green XF67 is the color that I'm gonna start with. It's a little lighter than the olive drab, but we can create multiple shades of that by using uh, some black and some white in there. So it'll help us get a really nice mix. I also just kind of picked out a couple of my Model Air products that we'll be using to help with some of the details and everything as well. So outside of that, everything's gonna be pretty easy. This should go together very well. We'll go through everything step by step. Should be pretty easy, and most of all, it will be a lot of fun, especially once we start getting this thing together, getting some paint on there, and we can start that whole weathering process, see how far we want to take that. So 
Hopefully we'll see you guys for the next video. Again, thanks for stopping by. Talk to you later.